Hey guys, it's Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. I'm not here today because I'm taking my time to rest. But for you, we have a review of the Avo Cigars on the way. So these are the Unexpected Series and I will do one cigar maybe a week or so or maybe every other day kind of thing so that we can review all four of them together. And let's get started see what's so unexpected about them. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make All right, we're back. So, uh these cigars are new for the, from this IPCPR this time uh 2019 and they're like all in Toro size but they're somewhat different they're somewhat different there is few information about them they didn't really talk about the notes or anything but today particularly I'm gonna do the big one okay this two that's actually uh, I believe is six by fifty four and there's two six by fifties so they're slightly different even though they're like from the same series and are both Toro you can't really tell now these are the box here I only have two of the boxes I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go out and find the other two boxes to collect uh, but the yellow one is unexpected celebration the blue one is unexpected uh, moments the red one is unexpected passion and we have unexpected tradition and I think I'm gonna do unexpected celebration today so put this in here and you know, let's get lit up so just like Bob I want to ask you make sure you have a good day today how, how are you today you're awesome uh, I think everybody should make a good habit of telling people that you know they're awesome because everybody are you know it's just it's just the way it is and uh, especially for this series that reminds me unexpected now I always tell people this okay if you uh, live your life expecting the worst everything else counts as a bonus everything else anything better than what you expected it's good it's better than what you had before right so always treat your life uh, in, in a way expecting what could happen happen if you didn't do something good or if you if you just totally screwed it up because after that everything's gonna be awesome uh, now if I can find my cutter here of course I can't so I'm gonna use one of these cutters which is the uh, vertigo vertigo cutter because my other cutter is somewhere else so let's get a straight cut good as usual good draw on this one I'm gonna toast it up so yeah, like I was talking about, if you have expected the worst, like you think that you need to, you know, if you if it depends how uh, how much level of expectation you have. Let's say if you expect you're gonna die tomorrow, for every day addition that you didn't die, it's a bonus. It's great. You're gonna see life so differently after. All right, heavy toast really good get it to light up really quickly right away you get the taste of the cedar and woods a little bit of sweetness a little bit of caramel vanilla -y taste to it very easy on the nose doesn't really burn your nose right away very mellow uh in terms of strength really good smoke output you see the smoke's filling up and i have a fan going i have a fan going good vanilla a little bit of grassiness somewhere it's great it's a good start There's just a tad of saltiness at the end, but it's not like salty salty, it's like about to be salty, kind of salty. It does go back and forth between like a tobacco flavor too. I 
All right, we'll let that going and why I wonder off. See, this is the thing about pre-recorded videos. I not too sure which part I shouldn't be talking and which part I should be talking. So I'm just gonna do the usual stuff, you know, while I'm talking to you guys and um, you know, post-production, I'll cut some off. It's like, ah, we're well, just wandering out of nowhere, go on a tangent and you know, things that I figure, you know, it's nice to talk about. I'll keep it on there. Gotta have some drink. So unexpected celebration. What do you have as unexpected celebration? Leave in the comment, let me know what you have that you would think that, that is an unexpected celebration that I should celebrate. Something to smoke this with. This is a pretty big cigar, but it looks like it relatively burns pretty quickly. So yeah, leave uh, your story about your unexpected celebration in the comment below. I'd love to know. It's a lot of smoke I'll put this. The draw is perfect for me. I actually like this semi-loose draw. Uh, doesn't take too much effort. Every draw has got full mouth of smoke. Pretty good, pretty good. Construction wise, pretty good. Uh, like I said, this is the slightly bigger size, which is uh, with, uh, 6 by 54 I believe. Um, didn't talk about too much about these cigars particularly, but uh, the leaf looks like a Connecticut leaf. Even though I'm pretty sure, based on the strength, it's probably is a Dominican cigar, uh, Dominican leaf and in a Connecticut shade. So, relatively light cigar. Uh, the wrapper leaf, it looks very leafy. What I'm, like? What do you mean by leafy? Like when you get cigars leaf, a uh, cigar wrapper, usually you will see the rotation, you will see the color. But you don't pay too much attention to the spider webs on there. So this like it's webbing like a leaf. You can actually see the the smaller veins that's going across. The big vein is there, but it's not really like in the way. But you can see that like the print almost like somebody purposely uh, tried to make the even lighter print to show up more, so you can see the leaves. Uh, from the look perspective, is it's, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. In terms of the decoration of the box, I like it. Hence why I got it. Now in turn of the box, they come in, uh, each one has different color, they look like a brush paint over it. Um, obviously it says unexpected celebration, it's a little lock mechanism in the front. Inside, uh, there's some information about the cigar, literally one liner. It says rolled with highest quality tobacco then left, left to age for six years. So it's a six year age cigar. I know the other one is like uh, 20 year or something like that. But you know, they all have a, like one liner or something like that in there to describe the cigar. But then again, not much information on the cigar unless you go to a seller or something like that. So I expect this celebration. What is unexpected celebration to me? Unexpected celebration for me. I would think that it's something like something good happened but it wasn't like ah oh, do you need to celebrate for that but someone else shows up and to celebrate with you now we have some unexpected celebration too uh, in the shadow smokes legion if you guys know we already have two giveaway parties and those two giveaway parties are almost like a celebration to me it's unexpected because we we will just got to do some giveaways which is fine uh we do that so much in the shadow smokes legion and we got to do the, the giveaway and then everybody stepped in and go, I want to contribute this. I want to contribute that. Here's another five pack. Here's a 20 pack. Here's five 20 packs. Here's ashtrays. Everybody just jumped in and say, I want to help raise money. I want to do the giveaway too. That became a celebration. It became like an actual party that we didn't expect to have. Like we were like, no, let's do a two hour thing and it became way more than that. It'd be like, it was like two and a half hour, three hour. And the second one we did was, uh, hey, let's do it again. Oh, it was the same, the three hour nonstop giving away. We couldn't, we couldn't have enough time. Literally, I had no time to talk about anything. We're like, all right, let's draw. Another person, let's draw. Literally, we have about three to $400 worth of shipping costs 
and then there was like 30 40 packs of things being shipped out it was crazy just for just on the give give away alone we're going crazy like i mean right now i wanted to do that again that's why i'm actually making prizes i'm making prizes uh, a few minutes before this i was actually making the picks so i have these picks made to give away like cigar picks i don't personally use uh, cigar picks but some people do so you know i figure i'll make some and this time i change it up a little bit this color is different i have rose gold i have gold and i have this like burnt uh metal color and i changed the glue to clear but yeah try to make more stuff so that we can have a celebration granted that will be an expected celebration in a way the unexpected part is really when the party is going out and all the members was giving more stuff they were like i want to give this i want to give that i want to give this i want to give that it was just sharing 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 if you never joined shadow smokers legion before you probably don't know but our our members are so generous <laughs> okay we have members that just send out 25 packs of cigars for no reason just like i want to totally destroy your mailbox that's literally what they do all the time so yeah that's all that's my take on the unexpected celebration my my uh, it, it doesn't it, it's not the celebration itself but what happened in the celebration to make the celebration unexpected it's actually pretty cool so yeah i, I like i say i'd like to know your story leave in the comments so i can read it to see what kind of story do you have what is your unexpected celebration you know I, I don't know if somebody will say that that's an unexpected celebration it's like you go on a uh a tour or something like that when you come back your wife says hey i had a baby <laughs> would that be an unexpected celebration <laughs> i don't know for me it probably would be you know i'm, I'm you know i've been wanting to have kids for a while but you know no kids yet but if I had one, it would be unexpected, and then we'll have a celebration. <laughs> There's a little bit of grassiness com coming up. There's a little bit of hay uh, and, and a sweetness, almost like a caramel mix of, uh, of saltiness to it. But it's really nice. It, it's not overwhelming. There is flavor. You can taste it right there, right away. Even if you're a beginner, the strength is not crazy at all. All right, the strength is pretty much light, if light plus, mile mile plus. It's not. It's not a crazy cigar. I can see where 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 you know even a beginner in a celebration setting can smoke a couple of these and go home happy. Okay, this is a really good cigar. And the band is beautiful. I like the, I like the bands that they make. What I didn't like is the, the paper that they use. These are heavy gauge paper, but they're not like, they're not the typical wrap paper, like these papers. They don't, they don't feel the same. Like these feels like almost like waxy, smooth. This feels matte. It almost feels like you just went to like Office Depot, buy like really high gauge paper and just put it on top. That fe it feels like that. It feels like that. I don't know. Sometimes I don't like these kind of paper because like when you try to rip them off, they tend to rip apart. They tend to rip apart. But oh, uh, this one is actually okay. I guess it's because it's relatively new, so it rips out okay. So the first minor band, it says, unexpected celebration so and it has this star on it i don't know why it's something they kind of made it kind of religious but it's not uh, each one of them has a different sign so this one is a what do you call it like a pentagram like a star and then uh this one looks like a v unexpected moment looks like a v uh i, I don't know why they, they do that so let me see the other two for this particular one So for the passion, it looks like a vase. It looks like a vase. And for the tradition, it looks like two hourglasses sitting right next to each other. So it's hard to see. Uh, you, you just Google it. <laughs> just Google it. So 
So we just got through about one third. The ash just fell off because I dropped it down too quickly. Uh, in terms of the the ash and the burn, it's pretty much straight. It's it's just like the side kind of not burn as even, but smoke output is still perfectly fine. See, so it's burning nicely. It climbs, like I say, whenever the cigar smoke climbs on the, onto the cigar, it's uh, usually a good sign about the construction, the burn of the cigar. But now that the ash fell down, now that we're transitioning into the second, third, I, I can tell you that the flavor mellowed down even more. All right, the flavor mellowed down even more. It's really, really, really a beginner cigar. It's really a beginner cigar. Uh, it's, it has the, all the characteristic of a Connecticut cigar. Um, you know, it's, it's cedary, is a little bit of caramel, it's a little bit of nuttiness, it's a little bit of hay, it's a little bit of sweetness to it. And that's all in here. It's a really easy cigar to smoke. Literally, for beginners, can't, I cannot, I cannot tell you not to smoke this. This is just good cigar for beginner. Now, for an average smoker, this might be a little light. The flavored notes might be a little light because I'm pretty sure you smoked a few other cigars. If you smoke this Avo, you probably at one time tried a Davidoff and that will overwhelm the, the, the flavor of this one. So yeah, we'll see. We'll smoke through halfway. We'll see if it changes better, okay? So I'll cut from here again like a magic. Okay, so now we're probably near the last third uh, in terms of how much I smoke. It's like a little bit past halfway. So I actually almost forgot I was smoking this because I was smoking and I was reading my phone. I was doing other things and this thing just kept burning. Um, in terms of the burn, still not bad. I, I didn't have to touch it up. I just continued to smoke it. The, the flavor did come back. Like So it went mellow and then went back. It could be because... Uh, for one moment, I was smoking a little bit too fast and the, the flavor goes away, but it came back as I slowed down. Uh, in terms of the flavor, great, great, great. Uh, did the strength pick up? It, it literally did. It, um, so now it's between a, a, a mile plus and, uh, to medium. At best medium, at best medium. But you know, because the, the length of this, you're gonna see some changes in terms of strength as it burns closer to you. Uh, as you can see, the ash it stays pretty, pretty good. Uh, if I haven't dropped this uh, earlier too heavy onto the ashtray, this will probably just be this long. Because, like, you can tell, it's solid. It's solid. So, yeah, uh, in terms of the flavor, good. In terms of the construction, very good. Uh, in terms of the burn, not bad. Uh, in terms of um, the price, now here's the price. This thing is about $12, $13, depends where you buy them. Obviously, you buy them online, it's probably gonna be cheaper. Uh, but for this size and the flavor and what you get, it's not too bad at all. It's not too bad at all. I mean, you're getting really good Apple product and they didn't let you down. It's not like a boring cigar. It's actually a really good cigar. And so easy to smoke. Like I said, I was doing stuff and I literally forget I was smoking it. I would just keep smoking it, enjoying it, and I'll just go with it. I did test it with some other drinks. So uh, I recommend coffee, but you want like a stronger coffee, not like those light coffee, uh, like espresso. Uh, I try with some whiskey. It works with most whiskey. It works with most whiskey. Uh, I tried with cognac. It was great. It was great with cognac, okay? I tried it with uh, a sip of sake, mm, not the best pair, not the best pair. I tried with some plum wine, it worked out well too. So because this thing is kind of light in flavor, it kind of goes well with most stronger flavor drinks. Okay, soda didn't work so good, tea definitely is not a good pair. Um, so yeah, this will pair with most of the stuff. Like if you want to pair this with champagne, you want it to go with the drier champagne. You don't want to go with Prosecco. If you go with the Prosecco, uh, it might be too sweet for this. 
But if you go with the regular dry champagne, you're gonna have a good time. So this thing, I can see why it's for celebration. Light, easy. You can uh, you can still spend your time to talk with people. You can still drink while you're at it, especially for lightweight people. Lightweight people or people who's on a diet, this thing is pretty good. But in terms of the flavor, if I was to compare to something else, uh, for example, a uh, uh, Placencia Davidoff Flan Journey, uh, or uh, even something like Filthy Viking, I would say it lacks that impact of the flavor. Because the flavor is refined, it's light, it's there, but it's not gonna smack you in the face. You can still enjoy it, but it's not like, you know, if you're searching for the flavor, you smoke faster, the flavor goes away. So it's one of those things you gotta take your time. Take your time to do for the celebration. Take your time to drink and, and talk and all that stuff. That way you'll be able to enjoy this more. So I'm gonna smoke it down to the last a little bit and we'll see if anything changes or uh, this is it. We'll find out, all right? Last a little bit, let's go. Okay, so now this thing, pretty much the same, but a little bit spicy coming out at the end. I don't know why. And just a little bit of spicy coming from the end. I'm not sure what that is from, but still good. Consistency is good. Taste is good. Um, price, not too bad. I definitely recommend this cigar, especially if you like smoke light cigar, light to medium cigars. Those are, uh, these are the kind of cigar that you want to get. That's going to last you quite a bit because this thing lasted me, uh, what, an hour or so? A little bit more than an hour. So, you know, it will still take me about 10, 15 minutes to finish this thing. So, it's, it, it definitely get your money worth. You definitely gotta like it. If you have the same cigar, put the comment below about what you think about this cigar. Do you have the same experience? Does it feel like a celebration cigar to you? Let me know. Put it in the comment below. And, you know, that's it for me. I'm gonna go finish this cigar up. And I'm looking forward to see what you guys have in the comments. Or just message me. Same thing, alright? So, if you don't know, we're Shadow Smokers Legion, and um, only way to join Shadow Smokers Legion is by invitation. And you might be able to find another uh, member that can invite you in. All you have to do is ask. You know, I have a Facebook page called Soy Sauce Assassin. You can just go to the Soy Sauce Assassin page and look for other members to see if they can invite you in. It's a great group. Uh, Bob the Cigar Guy will tell you. So, uh, in our member, we have Bob the Cigar Guy, we have Machina Maya. They have their own channel for reviewing other videos make sure to check them out as well um bob cigar guy sun chief also have uh, what they call it live show um uh, live chat on thursdays so make sure to check that out too it's a good chat you know go in there and just talk with everybody have a smoke great 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 relaxation time okay so that's it for me today i'll see you guys next time on the other expectation or expected unexpected cigars and um and I'll see you in the comments. Bye guys. Peace out.